All right, now we're starting to get to the exciting part of SketchUp. We are gonna start designing a floor plan. So if you take a look here, pretty cool stuff going on inside this floor plan here. There's even, if I go into the window, magically, I can see there's beds in there. I can see there's doors modeled. There's sliding doors. There's decks, there's everything. Now we were talking, go here, zoom extents again. We we're talking about all those labels and this is where those labels come into play a ton. So if I want to hide something like an object of the roof, I can take all the roof off the whole thing and I can see what's going on in there. I can see inside my part. If I want to take Here's the layer of the second floor or a level. So I take all the second story stuff off. So I took the second story floor and the roof and now I can see in there to the first floor. I can see my kitchen, I can see all my cabinets. It's a pretty cool system. I, I, I'm getting excited to start teaching this side of stuff. So that's just a general model that we're going here. We're going to go a little bit simpler, and I've attached it to the file as well. But right here is going to be the house that we're going to try to do. This one here gets a little bit complex. Perfectly fine. Going to be able to do it. It's the exact same steps. Just takes a little bit more time. So we are going to come over to our SketchUp for Schools. Open up a new building template. And remember it opens so it has all those layers already set up for us. It's got some stuff set up for us. And I'm going to actually turn one other thing on. So when I go over here to this little glasses, I can hit component edit and I'm going to uncheck hide rest of model. It's going to, if you remember from last episode or last piece, um, when we were doing our framing and then we try to edit a component we want to be able to see some of the other stuff happening and that's going to allow us to be able to see the other stuff our other components so i can just use those as reference instead of referencing everything else but if you remember this is our template file we don't want to wreck a template file so we're going to go file save as and where we're going to go to Dash O Floor Creation. Okay. And then that's saving. And asking where to put it. I'm going to put it in my architecture folder again. You can actually see SketchUp. I've done some folder creation to kind of keep everything all together. And we're going to start this folder creation. So I'm going to start out, I'm taking a look. Remember those dimensions. Dimensions go to the center of the interior walls, exterior, exterior walls. So that helps a lot right there. It's letting me know what's happening. Um, so if I'm looking here, I have the center, or I'll slide my picture over here. I'll actually slide my picture over here now. I have a 40 foot by 29 foot house. So I'm gonna go over to here, and this is on floor creation. And I'm going to start out by drawing a rectangle. Kind of crazy. But I want to go here and I'm looking down in my dimension tool. And the long one was first, so that's 40 feet. Comma. 40 feet. 29 feet. And 
and there is my floor plan. Now that's with that being said, we want to take this floor plan and we are going to give it a thickness. Now the thickness comes from just like how we did the wall stuff. Um, the floor has floor joists in it or floor trusses that run across this building. And those trusses are what holds up your floor. If you go down in your basement, it's unfinished. Or if you go in a mechanical room and look up, you can see the trusses or the joists. They're either TGI or um, floor trusses. Sometimes they're actual solid wood beams. Um, not, too much, not too often anymore. And then we have the thickness of the subfloor. And the subfloor is a piece of plywood that goes over those trusses so that you can put regular flooring on it and you don't fall through into the basement. So the subfloor is three quarters of an inch thick. And then the floor is, we're gonna say the overall floor is 18 inches. So we'll go 17 and a quarter for our floor trusses and then three quarters of an inch. So we're gonna go 18 inches down. So I'm gonna bring it down Click it, type 18, and hit enter. And there is my floor system for my whole house. And we have our floor created. I have not put it in a group yet, so we are going to do that. Triple click on it, right click, and we're going to hit make component. Um, so we're going to call it floor level one and hit OK. So then I can have a floor level two, I can have a floor basement, and I'm happy with all that. Come over here into my labels. The first thing we're going to put it in, and we're going to put it in a second one in a minute, but I am going to go on to Object Floor. I'm looking for it here. I don't want the LO first floor, so I don't see one in here. So I'm going to go plus, take my object wall, copy it object floor and my first floor will be on there my second floor will be on this layer all of that click off uh oh so it must be in here somewhere so oh, right there it is object floor So I'm going to click on that component. And that's all done. So now I have the floor done. Our next video, we'll be opening this object back up and we'll be putting in our walls.